Beloved Masters, the great drama of the present era is swiftly coming to a close. Every soul on earth is in the midst of a major transformation process regardless of whether they are aware of it or not. The precious souls who are still stuck in the limitations of the third and fourth dimensional illusion are having a difficult time maintaining the status quo. Those who are caught up in a poverty consciousness reality find that it is more difficult than ever to create abundance, and for many, even their limited source of income has diminished or disappeared. Relationships are suffering as ego-driven conflicts become more intense and frequent. Self-doubt and dissatisfaction with life are rampant as the light of creation bombards the mass consciousness belief paradigm of fear, bigotry, greed, judgment, limitation, and lack of confidence or a distorted sense of self-worth. As your old world fades away into the past, your new reality keeps expanding, for it includes a greater awareness of the workings of the universe, an elaborate sense of who you have been in the past and a vision of the vast potential for the future. Those of you who are firmly on the path of ascension are being asked to examine any residual negative thought forms of the past as well as any impacted energy that is keeping you from incorporating the maximum amount of creator light. Ascension is an ever-unfolding process of refinement and expansion. You observe, discern, release or absorb, integrate and then radiate the vibrational patterns of the higher concepts and truths that have been made available to you. With each higher energy infusion, your energetic signature is modified and fine-tuned so that you are projecting out into your force field and the world the refined frequencies of light that you have claimed as your own. Beloveds, you are aware that there are monumental changes occurring within you and all around you. You are being given many opportunities and challenges to realign yourself with your fifth dimensional self. Yes, you have at least one fragment or god spark and most likely multiple sparks of your god self in each of the many dimensions and sub-dimensions. When you fragmented into smaller and smaller sparks of your divine self and went forth to fulfill the command from our father or mother god, a universal design was created so that you would have a pathway back into the rarefied realms of this universe. Pyramids of light or way stations were placed throughout the universe in every level of creation. We have spoken of the pyramids of light for several years now, however, many of you still do not understand how important they are in the process of ascension. We have asked you to visit often the world pyramid of light in the higher fifth dimension and to share your creator love or light with the world and humanity. It is a most wondrous gift to state your intention by saying, I ask for the greatest good for the earth, humanity and all creation, as you breathe in the gift of life, adamantine particles. Activate them with your unconditional love and breathe them forth via the infinity breath out into the world. You must always take what you require first and share the balance with others if you wish to establish a never-ending supply of creator energy flowing into and from you. By doing so you truly will become a pillar and a sentinel of light. When you visit your work or personal pyramid, it speeds up the process of manifesting your visions helps you to quickly resolve imbalanced issues and to release or rectify outmoded agreements with others. However, one of the greatest benefits is that each time you return from a visit to your fifth dimensional pyramids of light you will bring down a portion of fifth dimensional frequencies with you into your earthly surroundings. You are becoming acclimated to a fifth dimensional environment, beloveds. We have spoken often of your Adam or Eve Cadman light body, the perfect light body, human blueprint, which was created by our Father or Mother God and the Elohim in the great central sun of this universe. Our Father or Mother God's divine plan for this universe contains a never-ending variety of forms and expression, and the Cadman light body is the essence of your spirit form which is your natural state of being. Your God self consists of pure God light in a multitude of vibrant colors, geometric shapes, and sound frequencies. Your spiritual nature is attuned to the rhythm and vibrational patterns of the highest level of God consciousness in this universe. Before your journey out into the worlds of form, you were in perfect harmony with the universal laws and the will of our Father or Mother God. You could have chosen to follow the path of the angelic or other kingdoms, however, as curious and eager souls, you chose the path of creation and thus began your adventures into the unknown. Have we not called you brave and bold souls who answered the clarion call to journey forth into the void as members of our legions of light? Your human nature has developed over time, for it has been greatly influenced by your tremendous variety of life experiences and by those around you. 
your human nature should be in a constant state of change as you grow in experience and wisdom, however, many dear souls become rigid and structured in their beliefs and, therefore, their human nature stagnates and they become close-minded. Many times the human nature becomes imbalanced as a soul defers various lessons or experiences, such as incarnating in a female or a male body most of the time, until the time comes when they must choose the vessel in which they are the least comfortable in order to attempt to attain mental or emotional balance and also a balance in masculine and feminine traits. There can be an overemphasis on mental abilities as well as an overactive emotional nature. These imbalanced traits have caused much of the pain and suffering in the world today because so many misguided souls have denied an intrinsic part of themselves. Just because you are in spirit form does not mean that you will always make the wisest decisions. Remember, you can only return to the dimensional level with which your soul song is in harmony and attuned to. Upon leaving the earthly plane, you do not automatically become a wise soul who knows what is best. That is why you have guides teachers and a council who help you decide your path and what your next earthly, galactic, or universal experience will be. Even in the heavenly realms you do not always take the advice given to you, thereby making the best choices. In each incarnation you are given an opportunity to awaken to your soul self. If you listen to the nudgings of spirit, first comes the battle between the ego and the soul self. This can be the longest trial depending on how much energy you have allotted to the ego down through the ages, and how willing you are to patiently work through the process of healing and clearing past negative thought patterns. These damaging thought patterns infiltrate the mental and emotional bodies and begin to distort the auric field until, ultimately, a prison of negativity is formed around the physical body which can create a living hell. You do not have to change places to experience heaven or hell. You can experience either reality by raising or lowering your vibrational patterns. Beloveds, you are in the midst of the most dramatic process of evolution or ascension that humanity has ever experienced. This process is affecting the entire universe, however, we are committed to assisting you to take advantage of this wondrous opportunity to return to your true state of being, your authentic self, as a beloved emissary of our Father or Mother God. In our last message to you entitled Opening the Seven Seals of God Consciousness, the Soul Star Chakra was mentioned. It has come to our attention that many of you are not familiar with the Soul Star Chakra, therefore, we will give you an explanation so that you will understand the importance of this facet of your physical vessel chakra system. 8 Chakra, Soul Star As you bring your chakra centers into balance, the seven major energy centers in the physical body, you develop what is called your solar power center which consists of the heart or soul or thymus gland and throat. You have an etheric sacred heart that resides in the center of the body at about the same level as the physical heart, but more to the back of the body, closer to the spinal column. Your soul resides within the sacred heart along with your diamond core god cell. After the fall in consciousness, much of the essence of your soul withdrew from the body into what has been termed the soul star six to eight inches above the head. When you began to awaken and strive to lift your consciousness once more, you had what is called a soul merge, whereby the essence of the soul gradually descends into the sacred heart center and takes up residency within the physical vessel once more. This is the beginning of the awakening or ascension process. The eighth chakra is the gateway to the higher dimensions. As the seven major chakras begin to spin in harmony, the sacred fire, Adamantin particles, flows up the etheric column, often called the rod of power, which connects the chakra system to the soul star. This allows the gradual reunification between the multiple facets of the oversoul with the human physical vessel. The soul star is actually a star tetrahedron which regulates the inflow of creator light into the human body. Dear hearts, it is time for you, as ascending spiritual or human beings, to always endeavor to make the highest choices. Be an observer but not a participant of the multiple dramas that are occurring daily in your world. One of the most damaging habits that you must diligently strive to rectify is judgment of others. You are to make your choices after thoughtful deliberation and then claim the truth that is revealed to you. You must then live that truth to the best of your ability. Most everyone will have some preferences or make some choices that do not agree with your beliefs, and this is as it should be. 
we have told you that there are many levels of truth and many paths that lead to the same destination. A master does not judge, but quietly lives his or her truth while allowing all others to do the same. This does not mean that you are not to set boundaries or state your preferences when the need arises, however, it does mean that you walk the middle path with spirit as your guide and love as your overlay. By doing so, you will radiate peace and harmony and you will shine your light wherever you go. We of the realms of light are most pleased with your progress. Join us in the world pyramid of light and we will convey a special blessing to you from our father or mother God. I am with you always. I am Archangel Michael.